What's up guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome to another pottery video. It's so exciting to have you in the studio. You're probably thinking, John, why are you so dressed up and have your hair down and it looks so nice? Not really. Uh, well, I was just playing drums at a church service. So like maybe once a month I play drums uh, at a church. So you learned something new about me today. It was a good time. I've been playing drums since I was uh, in high school. Uh, you don't care about drums. What you care about is making pots that are gonna sell this Christmas season. We're not really making pots. So this video is gonna be about how to make Christmas ornaments to sell for this Christmas season. And so this is gonna be up with plenty of time for you to get some out because they're not that difficult. Basically what we have in here, I got this last year, it's a bunch of different cookie cutters, like Christmas themed cookie cutters. So we got you know a mitten, we got a star, we got a Christmas tree, we got a candy cane, snowman. So one of the best things to do for ceramics is using cookie cutters to cut out slabs. I do that with all the Minnesotas that I put on all those Minnesota mugs. I use a cookie cutter for that. If you want your state of wherever you live, if you're from Florida or California, just go on, go on Amazon, click on California cookie cutter. And then they're, I think they're like two and a half inches. And then they send them to you and it's like the perfect size for a mug. And it's so easy to do on the slab, to just throw out the slab, start stamping cookie cutters. So basically for an ornament, all we're gonna do is just stamp a bunch and then put holes in them. We might do a few textures, like we could do wood grain texture or we could do some decoration in there. But then on the back end, then we'll color them with you know green and red and we might even do some marbling of the clay and then cookie cutter, Ooh, I just had that idea right now. I didn't even think about that before this video. Comment below, tell me what, are you working on Christmas stuff? What, uh, what's gonna be your Christmas gifts, your go-to Christmas gifts? So the states will also work really well as ornaments, like you just put a hole there and you tie some string, but it's also fun to do Christmas themed. Now, first we're gonna make some tea, but I've already had like six or eight cups of coffee today, and uh, I wanna go get some tea. Mmm. What mug should I use? First we just gotta change. All right, cheers. Let's make some ornaments. Christmas tree, gingerbread. I don't even know what like that is or what. If I don't know what it is, I'm not making it. Bell, what do you need a bell for at Christmas? Like sleigh bells? I don't know. Stocking, what is, what, what is that? What, what would you use that for? Is this like a gingerbread man and a gingerbread woman? Okay, I literally have no idea what this is. What could that possibly be? No idea. All right, first thing we need some clay. So if you have a slab roller, then you can roll out with a slab. If you don't have a slab roller, then you can just throw out a slab like I'm gonna do right now. Like just boop. Okay, so we also are gonna try, so I have this green colored clay that I made up yesterday, and I have red, and I have the normal white bee clay. So we're gonna try and mix up. We'll do maybe a slab or two that's just red and white, like candy cane style. And then we'll do a couple that are green and white and red. And then we'll see what kind of marbling slabs we can come up with to cut more ornaments out of. So I think this will be actually pretty sweet. All right, let's do it.
sweet because both sides are cool. Like that's the side that was not cut, right? And then this is the side that you cut. And they both have like a distinct kind of look. Okay, so with this, with this colored clay, uh, I think we wedged it a little too much. It's kind of getting blended. When you mix red and green, what color is that? If only my wife was here, she would know. She's an art teacher. I'm so bad at, oh, it's snowing outside. Can you see it snowing here in Minnesota? So beautiful. Not. Just kidding, it's kind of pretty. Squirrel. I'll just wedge, I mean, I don't think it looks very good anymore. It was good, it was nice and red and green. And this is actually more like a crimson red and a celadon green, I think, that that's the colors that I was using. So it's not gonna be like, I'll probably do this again later with real red and real green. But we got some, got some nice Christmas trees and we got some nice candy canes. So basically these ones with um, that are just plain clay, this is the buff stoneware from Continental Clay and this is B clay from Continental Clay. So these ones I decorated, so we'll just put like a clear glaze over them, but the ones that are plain clay then we'll decorate them with either under glaze, like paint them, um, or we'll just glaze them, like different decorations and colors. So now we just gotta put holes in them, so I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So we have a little hole, um, I have a little hole punch. I'll put a description if you want to get hole punches. They're nice to have, they're totally not necessary. You can use a straw if you want, you can use, you can really, you really use anything that's a circle. So it's kind of weird that I'm even gonna show you this because it's so easy. You literally just go like this. Just take this and just go. So the nice part about having a hole punch that's made like this is it gets the clay piece out and then when you back it up, it doesn't like, it's just a cleaner hole. The back side of it is a little bit, just, just do that a little bit. So there you go. There's a snowman with a hole through his head. I mean a hole to hang the ornament. But you can really get creative with however you wanna make ornaments. States are really popular, Christmassy stuff. You could also use these as like to put on mugs. So if I throw a bunch of mugs and I could put this Christmas tree straight on the outside of it, that'd be a pretty cool mug. Ooh, ow, hot. Oh, we also have done it where we put glass on top of ornaments, that looks pretty cool. I'll show you that. So yeah, this is another way that we've done ornaments before. This doesn't have a hole in it, so it's gonna be a magnet, but we just put a little piece of glass on there and then it melts and it's kinda cool, huh? Kinda cool. And then this is what some of the marbled clay looks like as an ornament. So this one I carved the back of it and just clear glazed the front of it with the hole in there. So that's kind of what they'll look like. Kind of what they'll look like. Pretty sweet. They're, they're super easy. I sell them for 10 bucks. I think anywhere between five and 15 is a reasonable amount. Depending on how much work you put into them, the colored clay ones obviously should be a little more. If you do a little carving stuff on it, that should be a little more too, because it just takes time, but. They are pretty easy. I mean, what have we been doing this for 20 minutes and we've made like 30 of them, so. You could also single fire these two instead of bisking them and then coming out and glazing them. I may just do a single fire for a lot of these, which I've been doing that more and more with all that marbled stuff. It's so, saves a lot of time and energy if you can fire once instead of twice. Shout out to Joel Cherko for this sweet mug. 165 bucks for this bad boy. Comment below, let me know what are you guys making for the holidays? What are the big sellers? What do you buy? If you're, not a, if you're not a maker and you're not making stuff, what are you looking to buy? What do you wanna buy? It's Christmas season. Is it a mug? Is it a plate? Is it a bowl? Is it a, is it a JTP workshop in 2020? I'm thinking about putting together a little bit of a road trip with workshops, so let me know if that interests you. Would you come and sign up for a workshop if I had them uh, throughout the United States and maybe Europe? Why not, right? Why not go all over the world and just do JTP workshops? That would be so fun. All right, hey, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things. We'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, 
oh, so pretty. The first snow of the year is always like, nice. And then the 50th snow of the year is like, why do I live here in this state? <laughs> Sometimes I think I live in the wrong state, but we really live here for our families and our friends. It's about the people, right? We stay for the people. You can always travel in the, in the uh, winter. Oh, big time video coming, colored clay. Made up some up there right now. I mean, I showed you, I've just been, you've seen, if you follow me, you know I've been doing colored clay and I am pumped, pumped about it. How about that one? That's pretty cool. Oh, check this out. So I was, I've been working with this dark iron stoneware a little bit and I know I can't go over cone six, so I fired it to cone five and it looks like that, right? So it looks like that, right? It came out pretty good, decent, okay. And then I was like, I wanna fire it at cone six too to see the difference. And so this is what it looks like at cone six. So cone five, cone six, cone five, cone six. We like better. I like the cone six way better. 